Amadil Kumar and here is a very interesting question on rolling a die. The question is, three fair dies are rolled. What is the probability that a five will come at at least once? So here five will come at least once, right? So it may come one time, it could come two times or it could come three times. So in this particular case, what is happening is that we are rolling three dice. And we're checking the numbers. We want to find the probability that a five will come at least once. So that is the question for you. You can pause the video, answer the question, and then look into my suggestions. Now, let us say that probability of getting five here is in the first one is, let's call this as A1. And in the second case is a2 and in the third case is a3 so so that is the probability of rolling 5 right now the question is what is the probability that a 5 will come at least once so if you find the union of all the three that means probability of uh, a1 union probability of a2 union probability of a3 uh, we know we are actually when we find union we are actually counting the intersections twice right so so the probability should be probability of uh, a1 plus probability of a2 plus probability of a3 take away probability of intersection of these right so intersection of a1 and a2 take away probability of a2 and a3 take away probability of uh, a1 and a3 we could write a3 and a1 and also once you take away all those common ones you have to include the probability that all are all are five right so we could include probability of all being five so that is one out of all right so a1 intersection a2 intersection a3 so when you have more than two events in that case the union formula becomes kind of like this now in this particular case what is the probability of rolling a five in this case right so what we find here is that the probability of a that is, let me write AI, it could be 1, 2, or 3, is 1 out of 6. So probability of rolling 5 in any one of these will be 1 out of 6, right? Now, what is the probability of intersection? That means when we do roll 2, we get 5 in both of them. So probability of rolling, let's say, A1 and A2 will be how much? So total number of options we have is 6 times 6, which is 36, and there will be only one case out of 36, which will give us that probability, right? Now, how about the probability of uh, intersection of all the three, that is A1 intersection, A2 intersection, A3? So 3 here means uh, 6 cube, right? 6 times 6 times 6, and there will be only one case like that, right? So so i mean this is six okay one out of those so these are their individual probabilities now using these values we can actually find the answer so probability of all this that means um, at least one five is equal to these three so three times one over six three times one over six take away these probabilities of intersection, this is intersection, of the two of them is 1 over 36, which are also 3, so 3 times 1 over 36, and we need to add 1 times 6 times 6 times 6, okay, so 36 times 6, 6 times 6 is 36, 6 times 3 is 18, and then we get 21 plus 3, right, so, I mean 6, 36, okay, so 2, 1, 6. So that becomes the, the answer for us, probability of at least 1. So we can now take a common denominator of 216, right, and then figure it out. So 216 is the common denominator. 
So here, what do we get? So 6 is already there. We have to multiply this by 36. So 36 times 3. Let's do that. So in this case, it will be 36 times 3, which is equal to 108. Take away 6 times 3, which is 18, and plus 1, right? So we get that. So 108 take away 18 plus 1 equals to 91. So we get 91 over 216 as the probability of getting at least 1, 5. So right, our answer is here 91 over 216, right? So that is how we could actually solve such a question. I hope you have understood the concept. So in case we are doing an event more number of times than two, like here we did with three, then we have to take away the intersections of two of those events and add the intersection of all of them to get our final answer. I hope that helps. Thank you and all the best.